Hello everyone. So our today's topic is all about MRO. So what is the full form of MRO is uh, method uh, resolution and order. Okay, first in this video we will talk about the meaning of MRO uh, that is method resolution order. So in multiple inheritance scenario where we have multiple uh, base class and uh, only one derived class. Okay, so that time it is useful actually. So we have some principles of MRO. Uh, first principle, how it searches. So the first principle is to search for subclass before going into base class. That means first it will check in derived class or subclass and then it will go ahead to the base class. Then second principle is if suppose class C is inherited from A and B. So it will check in class C first. Then in that order it will go in class A and then it will check for last in class B. And the last third principle, it will not visit any class more than once. That means it will visit only one time, that particular class. And just to understand MRO, I will write, I'm going to write the program also so that it will be clear for everyone. We can use predefined method to see the sequence of execution of class, how it is going. So it is nothing but a uh, format. Format is you have to write class name dot m r o f. Okay. So quickly I will write one program. For example, class A. Okay. And uh, it has one function. Uh, for example, A one and one parameter self and print. Uh, you are in class A. Print you are in class A. So we'll just copy paste this so that we can create one more class easily. Uh, class B, but it is inherited from A. So here also it will be B1 and you are in class B. Okay. Uh, then we will write uh, one more thing that is class C which is also inherited from A so class C and you are in class C then we will write one more that is class D and we will write B comma C okay and uh, here also uh, we will have function but now as we are writing uh, a common function name, method name, one minute, class D. Okay. So for every method, what we will do is we will give the same name. Let's see. Every method. Okay. And uh, then I will write print function to print. A that is our first class dot M as I said this is the syntax for that class name dot MR function and same way for B also C also and D also okay control S C Class A, it is normal base class, so only one thing. Sequence, for class B, first it will check in B class, then it will check in class A. For sequence for C, it will check in C class first, then it will jump to A class. Sequence for D, it will check in D class first, then it will check in B class, and then it will check in C class. So this is how it will, it is going to check. Okay, so in my next video, we will take the uh, real example by creating a uh, object also and uh, uh, we will check that it is calling which a1 from this 4 a1 it is calling which one okay that we will check thank you everyone